This is Acts chapter 9 and 1. And Saul yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of Yah of the Lord unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus to the synagogues that if he found any of this way whether they were men or women he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem and as he journeyed he came near Damascus and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven and he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him Saul Saul why persecutest, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash, double honors to these apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies to live in sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson and it's inspired by um hold on. Right, and it's inspired by this guy, um, Hassad, right? He's now brother Hassad, you know. And uh, you know, the Lord's pretty much breaking up the house of uh Absalom, okay? He's breaking up the house of Absalom, all right. You know, which by default is the house of um, Saul. Okay. Because any house outside of the house of David is the house of Saul. Okay. Whether it be the house of Absalom or whatever. You know. But um, this is just, you know, a message, you know, uh, to Hassad, man. You know, it's hard for you to kick against the pricks, man. You know. You were taught a certain way. You were led in a in a certain way by a certain guy. Okay, uh, Alazar. All right. You know, you still have a remnant of that spirit on you, and you it is causing you to continue to fight against what's what's true. It is causing you to fight against um, the true men of the Lord. Because your teacher, man, uh, he's not a man of the Lord. All right. I'm pretty sure you learned a lot from him. You know, I've learned a lot from niggas that ain't in the truth. No more, man. But it's hard for you to kick against the pricks, man. And that, that particular, um, you know, scriptures that I brought out, it was going to how Apostle Paul was visited by the Lord, which you guys basically say, I don't know if that's still your stance or not, that Apostle Paul was um, basically going off. Okay. You know, that's your stance that Apostle Paul was basically just going off. All right. So, um, you know, that's, that scripture, man, shows you that the Lord was dealing with Apostle Paul, man. That's just a side note. But it's hard for you to kick against the pricks, man. Because, hey, man, um, right? This is uh, 2 Corinthians. Uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. All right? So there's nothing you can do against the truth, man. What did, uh, let me see. All right, this is uh, First Ezra 4 and 35. Is he not great that maketh these things? Therefore great is the truth, and stronger than all things. All the earth crieth upon the truth, and the heaven blesseth it. All the works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works, and there is no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for truth, it endureth, and is always strong, it liveth and conquereth ever, evermore. And that's what's happening, man. The truth is conquering, man. All right? And, and that's why that Sakari thing is breaking up. Hold on, man. Because it wasn't established on this rock, man. 
This is uh, John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shah said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that's another thing that you guys go off on. You, you refuse to kiss the sun. You refuse to bow down, bow down to the sun, man. Yahweh Shai, man. And that's why th th that whole thing you got going on is breaking up, man. Because it's not, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not among you men, man. He's not among that congregation, bro. That's why it's breaking up. <laughs> okay. Because it's not on the um, foundation of Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. This is Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And what are those some of those things the Lord told us to do? All right. He told us, A, to teach, to preach this word. And... It, Right, he told us to preach this word in truth, man. All right, in truth and sincerity. All right, we're supposed to teach this word in truth, man. All right. Um, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken, unto him, liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Right, and that rock is Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And we're ordered to uh, kiss the sun. All right, we're ordered to reverence his son, to worship his son, man. All right. Otherwise, we have no entrance. We have no way back to Yahweh himself, man. All right. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. All right. So, hey, man, if you built on that foundation and you built on Yahweh Shai, man, all right, when these um, other winds of doctrine or even, you know, tumults and turmoil, because, you know, amongst men, you know, there are issues that arise, man. Shit gets shaken up, man. That's going to happen, all right? But, hey, as the scripture says, man, <laughs> you know, the Lord will establish our feet, man. It says in the book of Psalms, I shall not be greatly moved, man. All right, and the Lord said, "See that, see that, that y'all, that you be not moved by any of these things, man. None of these things that we um, experience if we build on that rock is going to move us, man. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house." And it fell, and great was the fall of it. See, all these other houses, they're about to fall, man. Um, right there. You know, these other houses, they're about to fall, man. <clears throat> this is Psalms 127. Except Yahweh will build a house, they labor in vain, they build it. Except Yahweh keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, hey, the, if you're not building that, the house of David, if you're not building on, the, on that foundation, then your, your house is going to fall. And that's what we see happening, right? It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. All right. So, yeah, man, you're building a whole nother um, blueprint, man. And it's, you know, it's just not going to work, man. And, and what are you fighting against the truth? The truth is undefeated, man. The truth cannot be defeated, man. You know. <laughs> so a wise thing to do would be to humble down, man, and listen to the voice of your teachers, man. Which are the teachers that hear great millstones? Don't forget who taught Alize what he does know. All right, well, what he once knew, because now he's just a Hoover Crip man, <laughs> spending his money, man. And, and, and 
you know, <laughs> all that. You know, we us here at Great Millstone, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're gonna roll with what with, 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 what's true, man. Scripture says, um, "Hold fast to that which is good, man." All right, hold hold fast to that which is true, man. You know, and the funny thing is, Hassad, you you're in a position where you can move on, and you know you don't you didn't like we said we you don't have to join GMS, man. But you better teach the same doctrine that Great Millstone teaches, because this is the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, and there is no more doctrine. What we see you doing is groping in noonday, man. All right. Because what it looks like to me is your your master has abandoned you guys. All right. Because <laughs> he's too busy doing podcasts and jet setting, whatever the hell he's doing. I could be wrong. You know. But it's like now you're trying to be your own master and, and, and it's not serving you well, man. All right. That's where the parable of the uh, the rich man and the camel all right, that eye of the needle is a low overpass. You have to humble yourself and lower yourself, man. You know, hey, I ain't that, that pride. A hey, pride goes before destruction, man. A lot of men don't want to admit the doctrine is the doctrine just because of Great Millstone is the one that's teaching it. But it's still, it's still the doctrine, man. And that's where the trap comes in, man. <clears throat> That's why you have a shy as a gin and a snare, and you guys are being trapped up, man. That's how you get have these other camps coming up to you, and or not even camps. You have these uh, Christians coming up to you, and, and basically making a fool out of you, man, making you look stupid, man. You know, <laughs> but yeah, man. You know. <laughs> You know, this is just a, you know, a little lesson for, you know, aside, <laughs> well, for edification all around, you know, because the scripture says, let all things be done to edification, man, you know, but you, it's hard for you to kick against the pricks, man. It's hard for you to fight against what's true, man, because at the end of the day, the truth is going to get the victory. <laughs> all right. Wise thing to do would be to humble down and admit the truth is the truth because <laughs> that's what it is you know but yeah it's a little lesson i wanted to do uh, shalom